So for those of you out there who have been following my channel, you should know by now that I have always been a patrol head. I mean, I love cars, I love electric bikes, electric scooters, hybrid vehicles, anything with four wheels, two wheels, one wheel. When I was about 26 years old, I would travel up to Malaysia, Sepang, you know, I would go for the regular track days. But of course with the family and over time, it's um, the thrill has kind of worn off. But the e-scooter and the e-bikes that I have these days have rekindled my love with uh, GPS loggers. That's right, today's video is about uh, a GPS logger that I just bought. Um, it's available in Singapore from this uh, very nice gentleman. His name is called Dylan. I would put his link below. You could uh, perhaps purchase yourself a unit if you like. Anyway, let's get right into it. This is the unboxing and somewhat like of a review of the Q Stars 6000S. It is the uh, 2017 model. So let's do the unboxing right now. For those of you who aren't very familiar what a GPS logger is, a GPS unit like this will allow you to record GPS data every 0.1 second. So this is at 10 hertz. So a smartphone um, operates at about 1 hertz. So technically, if you do the calculations, this is actually 10 times faster. At 20 hertz, it's actually an industrial um, kind of application which we won't really need. Now the reason why I bought this uh, GPS LED timer also is because I am go planning to do all these um, 0 to 100 timings with it. So the unboxing, this is the GPS logger itself. Another reason why I bought this unit is because uh, it comes with a display. Now some of the GPS loggers that you see out there by RaceLogix, VBox, um, you could actually pair it to your phone. Again, you're again dependent on your smartphone. The GPS data that you receive isn't very accurate. So if you want a very accurate 0 to 100 timing, 0 to 50 timing, now this 6000S is not cheap, it's about $700. Um, if you were to place it, uh, if you place the order via the website, it comes with free delivery and a, and a one-year warranty. And again, this will also calculate deceleration as well. So if you are on your e-bike or your e-scooter, you can actually uh, calculate the stopping time. It's got a G sensor built into the system as well, so you can do your zero to sixty kilometers per hour, zero to hundred. You can do uh, fifty to hundred. Uh, 100 to 200 I mean of course we won't be going that fast so yes so this is the GPS unit itself I bought the 3M mount so I could just mount it um, somewhere you know on the handlebar but this is just way too big so this would be useful if you ride a motorcycle what I have though is something that is very relevant in my case the application that I bought this unit for I will mount it on my handlebar and I will then be able to read the timings of this particular unit a unit like this takes away the hassle of having a GPS dongle because uh, you want the unit to be able to relay the information almost immediately again with a smartphone the readings will not be as accurate okay inside the box it comes with Wow. So inside the box you have, uh, well it comes with an antenna as well. So you can actually mount this, I would say if this is going to be inside the car, you could actually, um, there's an antenna jack here, you could just uh, screw this in and you could just mount it outside the outside of your car if you like. It comes with a suction cup mount as well. This is the, the plate that you use. Comes with a nice little case as well, a box. As well as a 12 volt uh, secret charger. All right. It's got a card of authenticity with a serial number to make sure that what you bought is actually legit. 
and it comes with uh, a software it only runs on a PC so make sure you have a Windows laptop all right and this is the quick start guide okay it says here install external GPS antenna it's an optional accessory only if uh, you need it now let's power up the unit nice okay let's see if uh, you guys can see this in English uh, we are using metric the time is um, we're in Singapore so that's plus eight let's use a 24-hour formula Next, all right. Next, 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 next. This is like to use designed to use on racing tracks for safety purposes. Do not operate on ordinary road, of course. So, let's go right into drag race. Whoa, zero to 100. Let's see, you could have like, um, let me see if I go back. I could even do like a custom oh wow so I could change 0 to 200 0 to 60 I could even add wow start at what kilometer and at what kilometers per hour wow 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 I am liking this I am liking this so cool so so cool let me just turn this off. So, the Q-Stars 6000S. It's got the most essential feature that I'm looking for, which is uh, the different parameters from 0 to 60 kilometers an hour, 0 to 100. It has this deceleration timings because it also has this, what we would call a uh, G sensor. As you can see over here, the Q-Star 6000S is also rated to IPX3, so it's actually water resistant, perhaps splash proof, definitely not shock proof as in I can't throw it, um, but at least it has an IPX rating as well on this particular unit. So if you want to do a drag in the wet, you can use this as well. Wow, too bad they didn't have this 15 years ago. Or maybe they had it, but you know, definitely not like in an interface like this, which is so, so straightforward, you know, uh, putting parameters like 0 to 100. Oh man, wow, it's just so, it's just so intuitive, this interface. Love it, love it, love it. Um, it's got about 4 gigabytes of memory, so you could store up to about, let's see, it says over here specifically that you could store up to 10,000 laps. And it's got a 10 hour operation time. Now I guess the next thing that you would be asking me is, is this an overkill? for the application that I'm using it for, which is perhaps an e-scooter, perhaps an e-bike. I would have to say yes, but on the flip side of things, is this the most accurate way? 100% so. Why? I mean, you can choose to argue that it might not be a hundred percent but I would say it's close to a hundred percent because this is actually for race use only so next time if you watch any of my videos and I'm doing like a zero to hundred timing on an e-scooter rest assured it's gonna be accurate or at least the timings or the measurements will be taken by the Q-Stars 6000S I will be using the Q-Stars 6000S for all my GPS timing, speed timing. I'm actually using one of those devices that hardcore track junkies use whenever they go for their track days. Oh, another thing about this uh, Qstar 6000S, if you bring this to any track in the world, it will actually recognize uh, the track layout and 
they will be able to tell you which track you are at, like the Nubarang. So if you have time, check out the Qstar 6000S. And that's the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I will see you very, very soon. Hey, you see this video? Yeah. So yeah, uh, that basically concludes the... <laughs>